Hello again from the Caribbean. Kathy and I are still on our cruise and we're parked at this beautiful tropical island. And you know what? One of the most popular features on cruising are shore excursions. And that's when the boat parks and the people come off the boat and get into buses and travel around the island to shop or to see things or to swim or to snorkel and to get a feel of what the country is like. And then of course at the end they always make the mandatory stop in the souvenir store where they can pick up the locally crafted t-shirt or fridge magnet which clearly has written on it made in China. And then you can come back to the boat and have having visited the country without even missing a meal. And it's like you travel as a cruise passenger, you travel in a hermetically sealed bubble when you get off the boat. And so you can go and do a fly past of the country and you go and you see a few things and you come back to the boat without ever getting your hands dirty with the local culture. In fact, the only two people you'll ever speak to who are actually from that country is the tour guide and the souvenir shop clerk. And if you accidentally do get your hands dirty with the local culture, as soon as you board the ship, they squirt disinfectant on your hands so you can wash it off and never bring it back. But as I was thinking about these shore excursions, it got me thinking that Christians are no different. We spend most of our week isolated from non-Christians in so many ways, and I'm guilty of this too, because most of our friends and most of our weekly activities are all with Christians. And we have very limited contact, except perhaps at work, with the non-Christian world. In fact, I even had a patient from a very conservative denomination, and he had to go to services every day, and he wasn't even allowed to eat with anyone who didn't attend his tiny congregation. Now talk about isolation. And so how do we expect the world to be interested in the answers that we have to give them through Christ if we don't have any interaction with them? I mean, what did Jesus do when he came? He leapt over the cultural, cultural barriers to interact with non-believers and to show them that he cared about them. And when they sensed he cared, they listened. And so that's the model we should be using. The world is not going to pay attention to all the answers that we claim to have until they know that we care about them. So to live a transformed life, you need to interact with non-Christians. Show them that you care so they will want to hear your answers. Now I want to hear from you. How have you been salt and light to the culture where God has placed you? Just leave your comments in the box below. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form right there. And I'll talk to you again next week when we're back home.